This is KARK for today. All right, well, welcome back to KRK for today. Uh, a lot of history uh, happened over this past weekend when it comes to the Arkansas Basketball State Championships. Uh, uh, and the reason I say this one blows my mind. We got Marlon Williams in, the head coach for, for the girls' basketball team at Central. And uh, when we it came to our knowledge that Central has never even made it to a state championship, no. that's so hard for a lot of people to believe because y'all been a school for... For 97 years. 97 years. Yeah. And so. uh, a, a school that when you think about history, you, you coincided with Central High. So for this to never be done before, and you're a part of now a history of one of the most prestigious and historic schools of all time, how does that make you feel? Man, it makes me feel um, so appreciative. I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine uh, this ever happening. Um, I guess we never thought about it, you know. Um, I know their teams have made it to to the final four a bunch of times, but never actually got to the, the finals. And we did that and, and actually won. That's, yep. that's just a big deal, very now, surreal. Uh, playing a team that has history of being very, very good yeah. in Conway, a lot of people probably assuming Conway was just going to go ahead, win again like they always do. It's funny, though, because you have history. You were yeah. at Conway 18 years, now coaching against your former team. Mm -hmm. I mean, preparations going into that game. You know, yeah. what, what conversations do you have with the girls? Uh, I mean, I mean, I've been there 18 years, but some of those kids that are there, they, they were younger uh -huh. when I was there. So, but uh, they got a really rich uh, tradition in their program. They do a good job. And, and you know, it, I mean, you just want to compete. If you want to be the best, you got to, you got to be some of the best teams. So. Yeah. This and the happen. thing is, too, some of these schools nowadays, you see their mm -hmm. gyms, you see their yeah. facilities, yeah. they're unreal. Yeah. Central, they're old school, old school. all right? And I'm not sure. only did y'all win state, your, your, the boys' team won state as well. Uh, you said there's sometimes at practice, y'all have to share the court together. Talk yeah. about that whole process. Well, you know, in the off season, you know, we have, you know, we have uh, volleyball. They, they participate in our gym. We have uh, boys and girls wrestling. They do workout sessions in our gym. So... And, and the boys basketball team so we all have to kind of share so we and, but what what happens there is you get everybody getting along really well cool. because it makes for a good environment and so we just cheer each other on so yeah sometimes we might have to you know in off season we might have to you know kind of split time or split the court or whatever mm -hmm. but we make it work. We just a big family there. You so. know, uh, another school making history, my alma mater, CAC. I, I uh, we had that. Matt Hall on yesterday. Yeah. He said he actually gave you a call after yeah, your state championship yep. to give you a yep. nice congratulations. So That's two right. coaches doing some big time That's things, right. being a part of history. And he talked about a player on his team. He kind of had to talk to at halftime saying, hey, mm -hmm. you're my guy. Mm -hmm. I need you to get going. Mm -hmm. You want to brag about a couple of your players? Oh, I do. Uh, Jordan Marshall, she's, I mean, she's been awesome all four years. She scored over uh, 1,600 points, uh, 800 rebounds. She's wow. like a 4.5 GPA student. Whoa, uh, come on now. Yeah, uh, Olivia Montgomery, who went off in the, um, in the championship game. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a 4.0 student. She's a great kid. She's awesome. Um, Ashlyn Kimball, a uh, great defender. Um, uh, Kaya Davis, she uh, battled through some injuries throughout her mm -hmm. career and uh, fought back. I mean, it's amazing the, the perseverance she's shown uh, yep. through her career. Um, Taylor Day Davis, she's an up-and-comer, uh, 11th grader. She's great. Um, she's a very dynamic player. Avon Sasser, uh, she was 6'1", you, know, okay. you know, swing, small forward. Yeah, uh, she'll nice. be playing college next year somewhere. Wow. Uh, she's a good player. I mean, we got a roster full of kids. Awesome. Kyle Wilson, she's great. Uh, uh, Miria Gaston, she came in and got some big block shots in yep. that game. Uh, so we, I mean, we played about eight or nine kids wow. that, you know, that's, you know, I, we got a great roster and uh, we're going to lose seven seniors, but yeah. we have some younger kids that's kind of waiting okay. their turn. And so we're looking forward to seeing what they can do. That's what coaches do. They yes, like sir. the challenge. Let's yes, get sir. it right, huh? Yes, Let's sir. get back to it. Yes, Coach, sir. thanks for being here. And once again, congrats of being a part of history yes, sir. for, like I said, a school. When it comes to history, you think of Little Rock Central. That's so yes, amazing. Thank you. Thanks All right, for having coach. Me. Of course, anytime. Yes, you come sir. on up anytime you want to. Yes, All right. Appreciate it.